plateau. Okay, so if you're not posting YouTube shorts by 2023, you're gonna, you're, you're just gonna miss the boat. That's why in this video, I'm going to explain why you as a YouTube creator should be posting YouTube shorts. And I'm gonna give you some tips on how you can get started right away. After this video, you can just hit the ground running. We'll talk about that in a minute, but I know that many of you are still skeptical about YouTube shorts. Let's just look at the facts. YouTube is winning the fight against TikTok. Shorts just passed TikTok, reaching 1.5 billion active users, while TikTok just crossed the billion. Two, YouTube is going all in on shorts. They recently announced expanded monetization options, new features, profit sharing for creators, and a massive music library. And if this wasn't already enough to convince you that YouTube shorts are here to stay and they're going somewhere, um, there's some uh, news directly from YouTube. But first, let's just answer this question. Why should you, as a creator, start posting YouTube Shorts today? And the truth is, they're overpowered. Right now, YouTube Shorts have insane discoverability, helping creators do in months what used to take them years. Like my friend Jenny, who showed me her channel back in January when she had less than 200 subscribers. And look at the graph. Her small YouTube channel blew up in a matter of months just from posting Shorts. The crazy part is I only uploaded one short in September, but after my Chipotle video blew up, people went and watched my other videos. And now she's at over 70,000 subscribers. And this is just one example of many small and big creators experiencing this rapid growth. Right now, YouTube shorts are like the wild, wild west, wild, wild west, wild, wild west. <laughs> it's late. They have insane opportunity and low competition, leading to faster growth and visibility for creators who start now, but it won't last forever. As more creators catch on to the value of shorts, and in 2023, when advertisers start investing heavily into ads, and more creators start to turn from other platforms to make a profit, the competition will rise, and those who start now will have the advantage. All I'm saying is, once this partner program kicks into effect on shorts, I think you're gonna see a lot of big TikTokers coming Shit. over here. If you have any interest in YouTube shorts, start posting them now for these three reasons. One, you can start to benefit from the low competition competition and high discoverability of shorts. Two, you can learn and perfect your short strategy before competition rises. And so your long form videos can get more views. <laughs> yes, you heard that right. This was not always the case, but you posting shorts will 100% benefit your long form videos. And we have lots of proof. YouTube creators who post long form and short form videos are getting more views because the algorithm is recommending your long form videos to viewers who watched your channel through shorts. Ever since Todd announced that recommendations now consider recent long form videos from the channels the viewer watches in shorts. But Todd tweeted that out a few months ago and he ended that tweet with, more to come and more is <laughs> and more is coming tone it down i know you're excited friends here are two additional tweets from todd that hint at the future of shorts on youtube and why you should start today first up a more recent tweet stating still more lanes under construction on the shorts to long form bridge don't judge the traffic flow you're seeing today as the ultimate potential of this path. So this first tweet is already telling us that YouTube has plans to strengthen the bridge between short form and long form videos. So if you're posting both and you're getting some views on your shorts, you're gonna get some more views on your long form videos. But he also made another tweet that I, it's just juicy. Th check this out. When Gary, the everyday dad tweeted, here's what I don't get about YouTube shorts as a strategy. Yes, it looks like lots of folks are getting huge numbers and that's awesome and I'm legitimately happy for them but it seems like straight up vanity numbers has anyone found the rest of their content rising with shorts and then Todd chimed in stating a stronger bridge enabling viewers to cross from shorts to long form is coming very soon I recommend leaning into this feature oh oh oh, oh boy listen Todd, for those of you who are not familiar, Todd is the guy at YouTube who directs the team who's responsible for search and discovery, the algorithm that helps our content get seen and discovered. And he's saying publicly that he would recommend that you lean into the feature. What more, what more is there to say? What, is, is there anything left to talk about here? Yes, okay, Todd. 
What? Video over. I, I, yes, sir. I know Todd knows something. Todd's working, they're working on things and he just keeps hinting at, oh, it's gonna happen. It's coming. You just wait for it. And that's why I'm making this video because instead of you, you know, trying to get yourself together when it's ready and here, start now. Get your act together right now. Let's get started. Let's do this. So if you want to get started with YouTube Shorts today, what is the easiest path to entry? So here's a few tips. These are not the only ways to get YouTube Shorts done, but if you want to have something posted in like the next 20 minutes, follow this advice and you can. Go to one of your YouTube videos and hover until you see this graph. This graph shows the most replayed portions of that video, or as YouTube puts it, interesting moments. These are moments that you know for a fact already resonates with your audience, so why not repurpose it as a short? Okay, I'll explain how in a second, but for those of you who don't see this graph, it's because it appears that you need at least 50,000 views on a video before this graph will start showing up. But don't worry, I still got you. There are still two ways you can see clues to which portion of your video is most interesting. Number one, the retention graph. Look for moments in the video where retention spikes or grows up. This is a hint that viewers were particularly interested in that part of the video, so make it short. For example, in this video of ours, retention spiked when we talked about how to use Google Trends to find video ideas. We made that into a short. Number two, scrub through your comment section looking for things that repeatedly come up. Look for timestamps that viewers found funny, parts that everybody seemed to agree was helpful, or moments that generated the most conversation. For example, viewers kept commenting about this Instagram hack that we shared in the video. Can you guess what we did with it? Yes, we turned it into a short. Your viewers will feed you the content ideas for your shorts. All you have to do is listen. The sooner you start, the more advantage you will have as a creator. And then by 2023, your graph could be looking like this, all thanks to the YouTube short strategy that you start today. I want you to remember this quote from one of the most successful authors on personal achievement, Napoleon Hill. A great occasion is worth to a man exactly what his preparation enables him to make of it. Even if you don't see immediate results, remember that you are setting yourself up for future success by starting now, getting familiar with YouTube Shorts, and creating a solid foundation. As more money, exposure, and competition pours into YouTube Shorts, you'll be ready to ride the wave while other creators are still learning how to swim.